What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode. This week, we're touring this incredible modern home right on the water here in Corona Del Mar. So, let's get going. What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Corona Del Mar and about to tour this incredible, newly constructed modern home right behind me. This house is located on 1653 Bayside Drive. It has five bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, 4,890 square feet of interior space, and it is currently on the market for $11,650,000. Let's go have a look. Before we get started, I want to thank the listing agents Janelle File and Troy Palmquist for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. On the exterior, we have a concrete driveway leading up to the three-car garage. And I personally really like the pattern on the concrete driveway with the astro turf in between. And when we look at the overall skim of the house, we have a white smooth stucco finish with this brick finish on the each side contrasting really well. Wood clad, garage doors, and as we look above the garage doors, we see this cantilever effect which really ties in that modern detail and gives it a pop of color with the black finishes uh, on the cantilever. As we look above that, we see these metal grills kind of covering up a section there and that's for the master bathroom. So you guys will see that as this video continues. Now, let's go towards the entry, which we have this incredible glass pivot door and a second story glass window right above it. So let's go inside. All right, the entryway. So we have two-story glass windows and this glass door bringing natural light into the entry and to the living room area of this home. There's a really cool chandelier right above me and I like how the wood ceiling detail from the outside continues into the property and even the lines are matching. I thought that was a really cool touch. On my left hand side we have the staircase going up to the third floor of this house where we have the master bedroom and the third floor balcony and I want to continue this way. So right underneath the staircase always a good use this 170 bottle temperature controlled wine cellar right here. And there's a little bit of storage on the left hand side. Always a neat touch. And right here, we have a powder room for this floor. Really like this floating vanity setup on the right hand side and this fabricated natural stone that serves as your vanity. I thought this was a really cool touch. So back to the entry. Now let's go down these stairs. This is where we have the living room, kitchen area, the main floor of this house. So we have the elevator here. This one goes down all the way to the first floor, which is basement level, and also goes up to the third floor um, where we have the master bedroom. Let's briefly talk about this floor. We have the living room and the kitchen area, and we have this incredible view right here. You're seeing the harbor, and right across from that, we have the Balboa Island. These pocket doors open up. You get this incredible view, very open, floor plan right here. And I wanna start on this side. So let's go this way. On my left hand side, we have the washer and dryer utility room. Nice amount of closet sp uh, storage. Washer and dryer are stacked. You get a little bit of a sink here. Kind of all you would need. And voila, let's go to the garage. Ooh, we got a rolls in here? I know, I know, right? Three car garage, we talked about it on the outside. And we, of course, have the epoxy floors over here, nice and clean. And I like how this garage is gently sloped to the a garage door. So in case you want to wash your cars here or wash your garage, you can easily do that as well. Yeah. And lastly, we have the Rolls Royce. And I got to say, me and Ennis have taken a little walk through this house and the owner of this property likes to keep his toys here. So he has uh, two nice ones in the back you all see in a minute. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, actually, before we leave, I want to show this as well. 
we have two tankless water heaters right here and the filtration system. So any water that goes through this house is filtered. That's always a nice touch. So let's wrap up our tour on the garage. Let's go back in the property. And now let's talk about this kitchen. We have the island set up right here. Beautiful countertop. I like that it kind of kicks up a little bit, turns into a waterfall edge on the each side. And of course that's your bar seating. And from this farm sink, you get an incredible view of the harbor again. Nice seating area, beautiful chandelier right above it to kind of set the tone for the island setup here. Two dishwashers. They're both paneled in, number one here and another one right next um, to the sink. If you focus on this side, we have this, you know, cabinetry continue here. Same countertop is also here and also has a single backsplash. Vent is clad with this uh, wood cabinetry so it has a more seamless look. Of course, we have the six burner wolf uh, gas stove here. You know, your cabinetry, everything is of course soft close. And let's go right here. And of course, we have the paneled refrigerator and the freezer here, Sub-Zero. And I like that these are paneled. Are those uh, refrigerators as well? I'm pretty sure this side is freezer and I'm assuming this side is refrigerator. That's cool. That is really cool, right? Some pantry space here and we have a butler's pantry here, built-in appliances, your microwave, your oven, and there's actually a decent amount of cabinet space here, a lot of storage, a little bit of countertop. Overall, I really like this kitchen. It's not too show-offy, it's kind of warm. I like the wood tones here. And let me rephrase myself. I like the wood tones throughout this house, which you guys will see as well. Now, let's talk about this dining room area in between the living room and the kitchen. Nice size, nothing overpowering here, simple to the point. And let's walk into the living room area. I love the built-ins on that side. We got floating shelves on the right-hand side. And I really like this stone detail they did on the bottom with this corner floating gas fireplace. Your TV is already recessed in. Again, more of these wood elements like this backdrop for the TV is here. Oak hardwood floors throughout. It's a very warm and comfortable living room space really. And this house is all about the view, all about the hardware. So let me open up these pocket doors so you guys can get a view of this. It's incredible. And again, I want to mention kudos to the developer. Instead of going with some sort of a big picture window here, he installed this railing so he can put these pocket doors because technically there's not a balcony here. There's a little bit of an overhang that could have been a balcony, but I'm assuming he left that, he put that design feature there so it kind of matches the roof line of the house from the uh, water side. But again, you leave this open all the time. You have a seamless glass railing, so you get the best out of your view. And I mean, who can, you know, it's such an incredible place where you can sit on that couch, watch your TV, and this is your view. Just sit here and watch the boats go by. Incredible, isn't it? Mike, I have a question for you. A question for me, huh? Yeah. How bizarre. Oh. Uh, <laughs> How unexpected. All right, do you know what Corona Del Mar means? Um, no, I don't. It means crown of the sea. Crown of the sea, that's a good boat name. That is, that is. All right, so why don't we close these glass pocket doors since we're about to wrap up our tour for the living room and what if we uh, what if we get tired of looking at this view what do we do that's a good question so if you happen to get tired of looking at this view you come here you press this button motorize nicely tucked into the ceiling so you don't see it but your shades come down yeah that's nice and they're Totally silent. Super silent. It's very nice, but I think everybody gets the point. And I mean, that's pretty much it for the living room area. So there's one more room on this level that we need to tour before we go downstairs. And that is junior master bedroom. And that's right. So on this house, we have three bedrooms on the basement level. We have one bedroom on this level and we have the master on the top floor. So Mikey, why don't you follow me? So this is the junior master, has two walk-in closets. Closet number one, straightforward hangers, some storage shelves, and closet number two. Again, junior master, so not every room is that big. And in this case, this is the bedroom area. 
what an incredible view. I mean, I feel like we're gonna talk about view all the time in this house. It's pretty hard not to. This is unique, this is California. Your boat is right up front. Again, you have another uh, glass pocketing door. Technically, it's a stacking door. Pocketing is when it actually goes into the wall, but in this case, it stacks. You have the glass railing as well. Pretty straightforward, incredible view. All right, now I wanna show you guys the bathroom for this bedroom. You continue on this hallway. You have a freestanding tub with a wall mount uh, tub filler. Toilet room on this side, and we have a double vanity set up right here. I really like the LED lighting underneath it. Beautiful countertops, also continues as a backsplash with the sleek wall mount faucets. And lastly, walk-in shower, marble on the walls, Here's another detail I like. I like this bench that is fabricated, so it's a single piece, and they tuck the drain underneath it. So when you shower here, you don't even see the drain. You have a shampoo niche on this side, your body spray, your uh, regular shower head. And that wraps up our tour on this level. Now we're going to take the stairs so we can take a look at the ground level. Let's take the stairs to go down to the ground level. This one is a floating steel staircase, open riser, beautiful, perfect for this house. Mikey, why don't you come close? I wanna show a little detail. I love how they have these recessed areas where they put these LED lights, not only lights up on top, and if you actually look below the stairs, it actually lights down below as well. So having an open space like this, thanks to the steel beam, gives it a nice open feel, and that light projects up on the wall, and this wall is perfect for featuring your art and all that, so at night this will look really cool. Here's another detail I wanna talk about the stairs. Instead of drilling through the uh, wood threads and bolting these glass railings, they've kind of recessed this in and also put this cap on top so it looks a little bit more seamless, so I thought that was a really cool touch. Lastly, Mikey, why don't you point up? We have a skylight from the third floor balcony bringing all this natural light in all the way to the ground level. And I thought that was a really cool touch. When we are up there, you guys are gonna see that skylight as well. All right, on this level, of course, we have the uh, harbor access, you know, the both levels here, a little bit of a patio space. We have the living room here, and there are three bedrooms on this level. One staged as an office, one staged as a gym room, and the other one is a bedroom with its own bathroom. So let's start with this office right here. Here's another detail I wanna mention. All the furniture you see in this house comes with this house. So it's not staging, which is really cool. I love the pieces throughout. In this case, we have the office setup right here. Very cool desk. And here's another detail that I really like. Instead of putting up a wall here to really secluding this bedroom, which by the way, already has two windows, they put this glass wall right here so it can actually benefit from the natural light coming from the pocket doors on the outside. So th this is considered a bedroom? This is considered a bedroom because right behind you, we actually have a closet space and this bedroom has its own bathroom. So it is technically a bedroom. Pretty straightforward walk-in shower with a bench and a shampoo niche. Uh, your vanity setup here kind of matches the rest of the house with a nice LED lighting underneath it. So let's get out of this room. Let's go next door. And also I'm gonna get a little nerdy here. I wanna talk about a detail maybe I'll educate our audience more, but so this baseboard detail right here is called reglet. So essentially it's the wood baseboard nailed to the main framing and there's a little metal piece right here, leaves this uh, reveal, this gap right here, and then you have your drywall on top. A lot of the modern homes we tour has this detail. So I just wanted to briefly mention that. All right, since we have a living room area right here, we have a, another, I wanna say powder room, but this one has, actually has a walk-in shower and a vanity set up here. This serves this whole level. And right across from it is a smaller bedroom that is currently staged as the gym area. Again, this could be maze quarters, whatever you like, has windows, has closets, has whatever you need. So it has to have a window to be considered a bedroom if it's in a, on a lower level, right? Window and a closet. All right, we have the elevator here, which we show you guys on the second floor. Lastly, I feel like most people will not show this, but this is the furnace room for this house. 
I'm amazed how clean organized it is. So I wanted to briefly mention that. I just wanted to make sure that we don't skip any rooms. So let's go toward the last bedroom on this floor. Voila, another bedroom with the glass doors opening up to the view and the patio space in this case. So we have the bathroom for this bedroom here, walk-in closet. Mikey, why don't you come over here? We have the vanity set up here, same tones. And here's where you have your walk-in closet for this bedroom, walk-in shower. I really like the mosaic detail tile right here. These are all small cuts of marbles. And they use a grab that has a lot of sand in it to kind of give some texture, almost like the beach vibe. Which I thought was a nice touch. Of course, you have your shampoo niche. And that wraps up our tour on this bedroom. So back to the main entertainment area, living room, family room, however you want to call it. I really like the color on this sectional, by the way. Matches the kitchen table chairs. That's right. Boom. Your wine fridge. A lot of built-ins here. Again, gas fireplace with a nice stonework around it. I like the two-tone contrast. Your TV, same design elements like wood paneling behind the TV is also on this level. More built-ins continue there. And I mean, it's not related to the house, but I love these ta uh, coffee tables. They look incredible. It looks like a piece of uh, old wood slabs all joined together. And I just see a lot of character and veneers and all that. I thought this was a really cool piece of furniture. All right. So let's open up these doors also we skip no details boom another wine fridge all right so let's open up these glass doors so we can go to the patio space right here and now this is cool essentially this area is kind of floating above the water but allows you to kind of leave those doors open you get a little bit of a patio space nice outdoor seating area this beautiful gas fireplace here and the view, the dock, that's what makes this place so special, right? So let's continue a little bit. I like that also the glass railing detail kind of continues here. Mikey, why don't you show this real quick? There's a nice little gap here. This is where you have your floor drains. Instead of putting some sort of a you know, square drain around here where you have to slope the tile, they've tucked it all the way nicely underneath here so you don't see any details. It's all seamless. Good to go. I know. All right, let's go down there, shall we? Yeah. All right. Be careful. It's nice and grippy actually. And this is what's so special about this house. And I told you all the owner had some toys back here. You see these two boats right here? He does. He doesn't mess around. No, he doesn't. And I, we like these. So these boat slips come with the house and you're not part of a marina or some sort of an association. So the owner of this property takes care of these slips and you're the one bringing the electricity and water here, which in this case, we do have water and electricity here as well. Here's another cool detail I wanna show, Mikey. And these rollers go up and down to adjust the dock according to the uh, sea level. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. And uh, what do you think about these boats, Ennis? We got a Wally right here. Yeah. If y'all don't know uh, Wally boats, go Google them. They all look like like boats from like a Bond villain would have. They're all great. These are incredible. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around a little bit, enjoy these boats. So, like we mentioned, two boat slips, right? And in this case, you can comfortably park two 45 feet boats here. But in case you wanted to push a little bit, there's actually a little bit of space here and you can probably cut out this section of your balcony if you wanted to, to put a longer or bigger boat. Like I mentioned, this is amazing to have. This is right in front of your house. You have the electricity, water bringing up so you can charge your boat and all that. And these are pretty cool boats. I mean, yeah, they, these, are, these are serious boats. These are serious boats. I don't know what, who designed the one on the right, the red one, but these Wally boats here, I've always been obsessed with these. I'm gonna call it like, it's like, it looks like the Ferrari of the boats. I know it has a great name. It's called the Terrible, if y'all can see that. Wow, I did not. Um, but all right, and that's pretty much it for the slips. Now I'm gonna hop back up there so we can continue talking about the house. So as I'm going up to the house, I actually get a really good look at the exterior of this property facing the uh, harbor. And in this case, it's all glass walls. I love the black details, the black coping. Even the gutters are black. So there's a nice white to black contrast on the outside. Again, we have the 
uh, patio space on the ground level and overall it's just a beautiful modern property and this house was actually designed by Brandon Architects so I want to mention that as well and that wraps up our tour on the ground level of this property now we're taking the stairs again so we can take a look at upstairs where we have the master bedroom and the balcony top floor as I'm going up on the staircase I like these smaller windows to kind of bring more natural light to the landing of the third floor and just overall to the rest of the house also I want to mention this as you guys may have seen there are a lot of art pieces throughout the entire property all these art pieces in the house are done by David Maltzman so if you guys want to check him out I'll leave his information in the description as well so on my left hand side there's a powder room and you guys may ask well, Ennis, you told us that there's only master bedroom on this level. There's a little twist to that, and you guys are gonna see that in a minute. But there is a powder room here, nice, beautiful fabricated sink, backsplash detail, nice and floating vanity, and we like those. And there's a little bit of a landing area over here, and there's, a, there's this opening for the balcony for the third floor. This is where we have our elevator access for the third floor as well. Now, we're going to go through this door and this is where the master bedroom starts. What a cozy space, right? Yeah, really, really nice. Really nice. This house is really tastefully decorated, I feel like, as well. I agree. I agree. So what we have here, we have the king size bed, nice vaulted ceilings right above the bed. We have a gas fireplace with a nice stonework around it, kind of carrying out the same design features like the rest of the living rooms. Your recessed TV, bedroom. Right next to the bed, we have a little bit of a seating area with the glass doors opening up to the balcony. Overall, very cozy, very private. This bed is very tucked away from the harbor side, so this bedroom is really private. Nice barn door here, sealing this bathroom. Let's show that. Let's show that beautiful hardware on top. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's a great sound also. I agree. So, we have the double vanity set up right here. Same cabinetry like the rest of the house. Double vanity setup, beautiful countertop, and again, these wall faucets, nice and sleek. And there's three mirrors set up, and the center one being LED inserted. And this is your little makeup area right here, which is really nice. And let's walk into the walk in shower. I mean, this feels like a section of this bathroom. There's a lot to talk about here. Freestanding tub, again, wall filler. There's a single slab of natural stone here. Mikey, can you come close? I want to show you this. Look at all the intricacies and like the gold color and the color details here on the fossil. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice stone there. Pretty nice stone. So this is an interesting touch. The metal framing that I told you guys on the outside is actually where it's giving the privacy to the master bathroom. These plants right here are real and there's actually a drip irrigation system here to keep them live, which is really cool. And Walk-in shower, as you guys can see, very spacious. Nice linear drain right here. Your uh, handheld, your regular shower head. Nice big piece of glass here to separate the shower. I also, I always like this detail where they use the shower walls also as your uh, shower sills. Again, it brings a nice contrast to the shower floors. Overall, clean, beautiful design. Yeah, and I don't know if y'all can notice, but there's just a very delicate slope going from here down to the drain, so. I agree. All right, so let's continue our tour. Toilet room. This is a touch that I feel like everybody would love. Washer and dryer stacked right next to your closet. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. We have a lot of built-ins here. What we got? We got hangers, shelves, perfect space for your shoes. And there's a replica of this space right behind here. Pretty straightforward. Good size walk-in closet right here. And let's go out. This house is all about the view, all about the harbor. Let's go explore that. So, back to the bedroom. Let's walk into this seating area for the bedroom. 
The second bolted ceilings come right here. And of course, I feel like I stopped mentioning these, but of course there are uh, built-in speakers, recess lights, all that good stuff. And I, again, like these subtle touches of wood throughout the house, like this beam detail, the paneling and all that. So let's open this glass door. Oh, these are really easy to open. Let's go out. So third floor has a balcony and that's why there's a powder room and a little landing area right here. Let me open and demonstrate. So this is the landing of the third floor. That way you can have people up here without having to go through your bedroom. And in this case, this one actually pockets all the way into the wall. Before we get all excited with this detail, I want to show one really cool detail. Mikey, why don't you come close right here? You see this? That's copper. So a lot of times when houses are built with traditional wood framing, waterproofing is one of the most important parts. And when we have openings like these, you know, at best people use stainless steel metal as a pan to waterproof those columns or difficult areas like these ones. In this case, rather than using some sort of a metal pan, they use copper. That just shows they really didn't skip spending the money necessary. They wanted to make sure this product here lasted for a very long time. So I applaud them for that. So we have the wood panel ceilings right here and outdoor kitchen. You have a sink, barbecue, a little storage, some countertop space. Again, this can entertain a lot of people here and let's walk around this deck real quick. So we have again, the incredible harbor view. you kind of get a little bit higher view. So it's just incredible to look around. It's so peaceful. Uh, so nice to be out here really. And I want to say you can probably entertain up to hundred people here. Here's another cool touch. This house has a standing seam metal roof. It's one of my favorites. It's simple. These things don't leak installed well, and they carry that detail out right here as the coping to kind of waterproof this area, give a nice short little railing and, you know, kind of make this space feel a little bit cozier. If they would have put in glass rails here, I feel like a lot of people will be afraid to come to the edge. This kind of makes you feel a little bit more secure. Going this way, we have the skylight that we showed you guys on the inside. This is where you get all your natural light and it's a little nice pop of color here as well. I'm just kind of surprised with the color of it being kind of green bluish. Um, outdoor seating area, again, covered on that side. You have your ga gas fireplace and it's about the view, it really is. So it just really feels incredible to be here. You know, I can only imagine what it would be to own a place like this. And that's pretty much it for this week's episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it. As always, if you did, make sure to give us a like, let us know what you think of the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And I wanna thank the listing agents, Janelle File, Harry Palmquist for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. I wanna thank all of you for watching our videos week after week. We really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys next week.